Uh, you, you speak about my private monopoly. Uh, what does that really mean? My private monopoly? Uh, okay, you, you can be in a situation of a monopoly. You, create, you can create your own monop monopoly and this situation happens once the customers say this kind of product or service I cannot get anywhere else but at your business. So there are many businesses worldwide which are in the situation of a monopoly. For example, Apple has a monopoly on Apple users and Microsoft has a monopoly on Microsoft users. I mean, when they think about anything to do, for example, with computer or cellular phone, they will think Apple or Microsoft. That's when you reach the state of, monop of monopoly. When your customers will say, oh, I need to buy a cream, and they will link your business name or your name directly to the activity, you are in a, in a situation of a monopoly. So uh, monopoly has positive and negative, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, you, can, you can connect it positively or negatively to, to various kind of, is it good for consumers or bad for consumers? I'm speaking about monopoly simply from the automatic click in the mind of the customer. When he thinks about the product, he thinks about your business. And, and, and it is happening because you deliver quality, meaning you don't hold a monopoly over a customer. That your customer cannot buy the product because he needs to travel 100 miles away, and therefore you have a monopoly because uh, the other alternative is, is distance. Today it's not the case. Today customers have a lot of choices. And when they think about you automatically, when the need appears, it means you have a monopoly uh, in the consumer's mind and you are positioned very well. And this is what uh, we talk about, about reaching a monopoly status, which every business can, while delivering quality which is uncompatible. Thank you.